Hello, welcome to my video. Today I'll be showing you how to make your character walk in Game Maker 8.1. Making a character that moves is pretty straightforward. Just add four keyboard events to your player object, each associated with a different direction. There is a bit of a problem with this. If you run your game, you'll notice that your character just drifts awkwardly across the screen. But what if you wanted a character that walks? Adding animations to objects works a little differently to the drag and drop events, and while it is possible to do it that way, it's a lot easier to achieve this with just a few lines of code. You don't even need a lot of programming experience because I provided a copyable version of the code in the description of this video, along with links to download the sprite pack I used. So all you have to do is follow these instructions and you'll have a walking character in no time. Let's get started. First up, you'll need to create your sprites. Sprites are fairly easy to make, so I won't cover them in much detail. Just create a sprite from a sprite sheet with at least four images. I've included a link to download a free to use sprite sheet pack called Papoya Free RPG Character Sprites. You may want to resize any 32 by 32 images to 64 by 64 at least so you can see them properly. Make four sprites. Name them SPR underscore player up, SPR underscore player down, SPR underscore player left, and SPR underscore player right. I've already made my sprites, so let's move on. Next, you'll need to make an object. Click the object icon. It looks like a blue sphere. Name your object OBJ underscore player. Under the name box, there is a menu to select the object's default sprite. You can choose any of your player's sprites, as it doesn't affect anything in our case. You'll also want to make sure both visible and solid are checked. Don't worry about the other settings in this column. You'll now want to click Add Event and select Create as the event type. A Create event basically tells the object what to do when it's first spawned or when the game starts. Look for the control tab on the side and drag an execute code action into the actions column. A notepad should come up. Now you'll want to copy this part of the code only and paste it into the notepad. The first three lines tell the object what sprite to display, which image in the sprite to display, and how quickly it cycles through the sprite's images. My image index is 2 since my second frame is the one where my character is in a neutral pose, and image speed is zero because they don't need to be cycling through images while they're not walking. Now, you'll need to add a step event. A step event constantly checks whether any of its actions have been triggered, so it's great for a lot of things. You'll have to add another execute code action, this time, you'll need to copy all of this and paste it into the notepad. This looks like a lot of code, but it's simple once you understand what it does. The first four actions are all the same, just with different values for the keys and sprites. The first line checks if A has been pressed. If it has, it will execute the rest of the action. The next line tells the object what direction along the X and Y axes it will move. The last two lines in this action control the sprite. Image speed controls how fast it cycles through the sprite's images, and sprite index controls which sprite it uses. The fifth action in this code stops movement when there is no key pressed. Now, create a room and add your object somewhere in it. Congratulations! You've just made a game! Essentially. You can't do much in it yet, but you've got to start from somewhere. I mean, if Death Stranding counts as a game, then our little walking simulator can also be a game. Save your project and test it by clicking the green play button icon. 
If you press the W, A, S, or D keys, your character should not only move, but also have an animated walk. Try walking in all directions and stopping. You can also walk diagonally by pressing two keys at the same time. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you liked the video, please leave a like or comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Bye! This game is made for walking, hopefully that's what yours will do. If you followed my tutorial, then you should have a walking simulator too. Bye.